Well, Sony and PlayStation might be gearing up to add a big new feature to the PlayStation 5. And all honestly, the feature's already live in the UK. Looks like it's not live stateside, however, but uh, hopefully it, it means that game trials are going to be implemented stateside as well at some point. We'll talk about that. Battlefield 1 has got some free DLC, as well as uh, Battlefield 4 has got some free DLC on the PlayStation Store. You might want to check that out ahead of the release of Battlefield 2042. That game's getting a little bit of a delay so maybe you want to check that out but we'll talk that uh, in just a little bit and then also there's a rumor circulating that PlayStation now is going to be adding The Last of Us 2, Fallout 76 and Final Fantasy 8. More on that in just a little bit. All right first of all Sony introduces game trials a Try PlayStation 5 games for a limited time in the UK. Now, this is not live stateside. At least I just checked uh, a little bit before recording this video if this was live. But this is pretty exciting. So, Sony has added this feature for both Death Stranding Director's Cut and Sackboy A Big Adventure. It should be clarified for the PlayStation 5 versions of these games, not the PlayStation 4 versions, the PS5 versions, but they are significant trials. They are letting you play uh, Death Stranding in particular. That offers six hours of playtime, whereas uh, the Sackboy trial offers five hours of playtime. But it also notes that the, the clock triggers when you start downloading the game which i feel like that has to be changed like everybody's got different download speeds why are we being benefited if we have a better download speed than other people it should be when you launch the game that's when the countdown t uh, timer starts uh ticking and if you want to do it that the second you hit play, even if you pause the game, the timer continues to go, or if you exit the game, that's fine. That is completely fine, but the idea that it should start when you start downloading the game, I don't know about that one. I mean, let's be real, some people, uh, and I know maybe it's a little bit few and far between, but some people can't even finish downloading a game in six hours. And I actually think that's a lot of people. I, I I don't even know if I could download a 100 gigabyte game in six hours. Now, obviously, uh, the download speeds or the download times are going to vary game to game, but that's still something they definitely have to tweak if they want this feature to work. I like the idea of the feature and the idea of a six hour trial. That's a significant trial and maybe they'll have to cut back on that a little bit. Sackboy offering five hours as well. For a game like Sackboy, that's a significant trial, so I don't know if that's going to be something that is going to be implemented in the long term. Obviously, these games have been out for a little bit. Well, Death Stranding came out a couple weeks ago. Sackboy's been out for a year, so that is something interesting to note. If they were going to put this feature in for like new releases, or even not new releases, I mean, you could do it three weeks after a game drops, and maybe that'll entice some people to pick up games. I'm not saying every game has to have the six-hour trial that Death Stranding does. Six hours does honestly seem a little bit excessive, but hey, they want to do six hours, so I'm sure nobody's going to be complaining. Uh, they got to fix that download requirement where the timer uh, starts ticking when you hit download. I mean, that's not going to fly and then uh yeah maybe you can lower it to three hours and that would still be a very very significant amount of time especially with a lot of these sony single player games a lot of these games are like 10 to 12 hours long so getting a quarter of the game as a trial that's pretty darn good so we'll see if that ultimately ends up sticking and if that does uh, come over to the States because that would be pretty cool to see. And I think, you know, game trials is something that I've wanted to see more and more of. Let us sample a game before we drop $70 on a game. Yes, $70 in the year 2021. I mean, that's, that, that's a high price point and sometimes blind dropping $70 isn't, uh, you know, in everybody's wheelhouse. But if you got to play a game for three to four hours... Uh, that would definitely entice some people to check it out. All right, moving on from that, Battlefield 1 Apocalypse available free right now over on the PlayStation Store. Go check that out if you're looking for some Battlefield 1 DLC. If you're looking for some Battlefield 4 DLC, Battlefield 4 Dragon's Teeth is available on the PlayStation Store as well. Both of these are going to be available free for a limited time, so if you're interested, go add these to your library as soon as possible. Battlefield 1 is the fourth expansion pack for Battlefield 1. I should say Apocalypse is the fourth expansion pack for Battlefield 1. 
And then, yeah, you could get it through the Battlefield 1 Premium Pass as well, but yeah, right now it is available for free. I liked my time with Battlefield 1, as you guys might know. Um, after Battlefield 3, I kind of fell out of hardcore Battlefield gaming. I'm hoping 2042 can revive that a little bit. I played, I played every single Battlefield since. I've played quite a bit of Hardline, actually, uh, but none of them encaptured that love of Battlefield like Battlefield 3 did, and really... Uh, Battlefield 3 and Bad Company 2, those were the Battlefield games that I just played, you know, the gaming sessions until 6 in the morning. I'm not really doing that with these games, although I probably shouldn't be doing that as a fully grown adult now anyway, but you guys get the drift. I'm hoping Battlefield 2042 can reignite my love for Battlefield, and I have a good feeling it is, so let's hope for the best on that, but for now you can check out that DLC. Lastly, I do want to note that there are some images circulating online that PlayStation Now in October will be adding The Last of Us Part 2, Fallout 76, as well as Final Fantasy VIII Remastered. Those are some pretty nifty additions. Last of Us Part 2, I know not everyone's favorite, not my favorite game in the world, but that is still a relatively significant addition to PlayStation Now, given that it's still going for, you know, $25 to $30 on sale, so that's a pretty huge addition. I would imagine that would be a game that would have like that 90 day gimmick where like the game would only be added to PlayStation now for 90 days so you'd have that duration to play the game and then it's removed from the uh, PlayStation now service although I don't know if that's typically what they do with first party games I would have to look back and see what they do but yeah that would be a pretty nice addition Fallout 76 was also imaged and then also Final Fantasy 8 remastered Fallout 76 you can think whatever you want of it I mean it's a bit of a meme at this point uh, Final Fantasy 8 is a very interesting game I know a lot of people hate Final Fantasy 8 I actually really like Final Fantasy 8. Um, I believe the game started development as like a non Final Fantasy title. Don't quote me on that, but uh, yeah, I know the story was kind of kind of wonky at times, but uh, I thought there were some things to like about the game. And while my memory isn't completely clear about uh, specific plot points, but I enjoyed Final Fantasy 8. I know some people weren't big on some of the battle mechanics as well, but I thought overall it was a fairly good JRPG. And honestly, if they decided to remake Final Fantasy 8, like, I wouldn't hate it. I wouldn't hate, like, remakes of any of the Final Fantasy games, to be perfectly honest, outside of, like, a Final Fantasy 15 remake because it just came out. But nevertheless, uh, if they want to remake Final Fantasy 4, Final Fantasy 6, Final Fantasy 8, Final Fantasy 9, uh, even Final Fantasy 10, bro, I'd be down for a Final Fantasy 10 remake. Like, hell yeah. Uh, but yeah, FF8 remastered. Like, the remastered version isn't anything to write home about in terms of an upgrade, but it does look a bit better. So you can check that out as well. That's going to do it for me. Again, Sony, it looks like they introduced game trials for Death Stranding directors. Scott and Sackboy a big adventure over on the UK, but hopefully that makes its way stateside, and hopefully they do clarify that, you know, the timer ticking down when you start the download, because that's not going to fly. Battlefield 1 Apocalypse, free on PlayStation Store, Battlefield 4 Dragon's Teeth, free on the PlayStation Store, and some pretty beefy additions to PlayStation Now might be coming if rumors are to be believed. That's going to do it for me. Sound off with all of your thoughts in the comments section down below. Thank you for watching, and goodbye. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.